Hope everyone had a great weekend. I'm Patrick Fitzgerald and welcome to this week, December 26th, Produce Time. Let's start off with uh, our holiday schedule. So, for this week, New Year's Eve, Saturday, December 31st, Midwest Foods will be closing at 11 a.m. Also, on Saturday, January 1st, 2012, and Monday, January 2nd, 2012, Midwest Foods will be closed. So please, uh, please note that so that uh, you've got everything that you need for the holiday. Okay, let's get into some of the specialty stuff this week. I have here some uh, wild mushrooms. I've got chanterelles. I have the black trumpets, as well as the hedgehogs. Now the chanterelles are looking a bit tattered. They only have another couple weeks left on those. And they're going to seem a little bit bigger, a little more woodier, maybe a little bit more water inside of them. The black trumpets look excellent, but they will be done probably close to the beginning of January. And then hedgehogs are looking great, uh, and they will be available for the rest of the uh, uh, season, which will be uh, probably until February. Also, we have on here some shiitakes. Now, I brought these out because I think we have the best shiitakes in the city. We have the bee shiitakes, which are, to most people's uh, comparisons, are exactly like the A shiitakes from, other, from our uh, competitors. Also, we have our A shiitakes, which are unlike anything anybody has. These are much bigger. Uh, these are all out of California, and they come in a five-pound box. And that's shiitake mushrooms. Okay, last week I brought out some baby frisee. This week um, I'm actually going to show you the difference between the two. We have the circus frisee here, which again is a little bit reduced. Uh, this is from Scarborough Farms, and it comes in a 12-count box. And this is the baby frisee, so it's a much fuller head. You have a lot more green on it. And for those people that like it trimmed down like this, we have that available. This is called circus frisee. And the people that like the regular full box, you will get more yield out of the box but um, you're going to definitely get the green leaves, and that's the regular baby frisé from Scarborough Farms. I brought out a nice little cool product. This is called Sea Bees. This is a uh, five pound box. Comes into us about three days a week. Has a real salty flavor, great for any kind of seafood uh, entree or whatever your applications may be. Okay, I thought I'd bring out some, so you can see the difference in the type of lettuce that we're selling. Both of these are a Boston lettuce. This is the California Boston lettuce, which is a 24 count. You probably got about 20, 22 pounds on the yield of the box and comes from Andy Boy. This is from TNA. It's a hydro bib. It's a lot more delicate, not as strong on the uh, flavor, but still very good. What I want to do is just cut you some to show you the difference. This, like I said, is a much more hardier lettuce than the Hydro Bib. It does come with a root on. And this you're going to get a lot more air in there. So this is a much tighter, better yield. Um, and really for the price of it, you probably can get three of these to one of these boxes. But that's the difference between the Hydro Bib and the California Butter Lettuce. Next I brought out some tomatoes, mainly because uh, Mexico has been getting off to a slow start with their tomatoes and you're going to notice maybe a buck or two higher on the uh, 4x4s, 4x5 sizes. Um, also you're going to see a significant price increase on the Roma tomatoes um, and you're going to probably see them a little lighter in color and definitely on the smaller size also because of the late harvest that's going in Mexico right now. Um, price is probably somewhere in the mid 20s on these tomatoes to the high 20s um, but still a good product and uh, another couple weeks until they get back to normal. That's aroma tomatoes. Also with tomatoes, I've noticed that the, uh, the red teardrops, yellow teardrops haven't looked so stellar lately. So I brought you out some of the red or yellow grape tomatoes, um, which also look great with the red grape tomatoes. This is a 12 one pint box, probably somewhere in the area of $35 for a box, um, but absolutely gorgeous and um, spectacular tasting. For the holiday, uh, you might want to change things up a little bit and use some uh, yellow tomatoes in your, um, your menu. This is the yellow tomato. It's out of Florida. It looks great, uh, especially against the, uh, the basil and the red. And it uh, cuts very really nice, nice meeting, not big gel packs and definitely not green gel seeds. And that's your yellow tomato out of Florida. 
I also brought out some cucumbers from Florida, and I brought these out mainly to uh, stress the point that the Florida and the Mexican crop look great this year. Um, you got some fine product, they're nice and firm, you got great color, great aesthetics to it, and also with the pepper market. Now the yellow pepper and the green peppers are a little, I'm sorry, the yellow pepper and the red peppers are a little on the high side in price, um, and the green peppers are relatively low, but uh, both great quality from all three of those peppers, as well as the cucumbers. This is an item I haven't brought out for a little while. This is the baby leeks. These are coming out of California. They come 12 in a box. They look spectacular and it's a lot bigger than what they, uh, they normally are. So you're not going to get the, uh, the rinky dink type baby leeks that you've seen before. These are a nice hardier uh, uh, leek. I have some papayas that I brought in from Hawaii. They look great. Uh, We've got them probably about three times a week, and they are tasting fantastic. They've got great color, great seeds, they're about 12 count, and they're probably anywhere between $25 and $30 a box. And that's the golden ripe papaya. And that's actually the last item that we have for the special food items this week. Okay, give you a little weather update. We have the Oxnard and Salinas area, which is in the north of LA. Uh, they are experiencing lows of 50s at night and during the day they are uh, experiencing some 70 uh, temperatures, which is about normal for this time of year. In Huron, which is also north but more closer to the, uh, the interior, uh, just north of LA, it is a little different story. The Huron experienced some low 30s at night and only reaching mid 60s for the day. So their uh, growing season is about over and everything is obviously moving south. We have Yuma, Arizona. Uh, which is way south down to the Mexican border. At night, they have highs of 40s and during the day, mid 70s, which is where you're going to see a lot of things um, brought to, to uh, distribute out of, as well as grown in. Okay, product recalls. We, uh, we at Midwest Foods have no recalls, but we do have two additional industry recalls. One is from Growers Alliance and, or Cal Fresco, and they are out of uh, California, and they are recalling jalapeno peppers. Also, we have Avon Heights Mushroom. They are recalling um, spinach due to E. coli. So you can read more on that on our this week's produce time. Season over. So this week we have English peas, baby kiwi, peaches, pequino, micro cucumbers. Um, all the hard squashes are basically done. I think we had maybe two or three cases left of the red curry squash in there, but all the pumpkins and hard squashes are through. We have Linda Supplies of the Rhubarb, and I put it the season is done. It is coming up out of Holland, and it is very expensive to ship in, so uh, for right now, no one's bringing it because it's in the high 50s. Uh, nectarines, of course, all the stone fruit, peaches, nectarines, and uh, plums, and lobster mushrooms are still out of season and will be for some time. So, produce alerts. We have a few items that have uh, some produce alerts still. Last week it was asparagus, this week it is broccoli, cauliflower, which have come down in price but are still uh, significantly higher. We have romaine hearts that are very tight and uh, quality is all over the board on that. So you might want to watch it. It is better to probably pay a couple dollars more for a box and get a quality label than to uh, look for something that's on the cheaper side. Also, I mentioned the, uh, the peppers. You have the red and yellow peppers that are high in price. The green peppers, which are probably around the uh, $15 price, are still relatively slow. Um, also, the, uh, the baby squashes out of Guatemala and French beans are still on the high side, mainly due to the man because of the uh, New Year's weekend. And that's your produce update for the week of December 26th. Thank you, and for everyone that has emailed me about filming the produce times at your location, we'll be starting that on January 17th. If you are interested in doing so, please email me at produce at midwestfoods.com. I want to just take a moment and wish you all a happy new year from everyone at Midwest Foods and the Fitzgerald family. Thank you and have a great weekend.